Part 2 of operations on functions. Let f and g be defined as f of x is equal to x minus 5 and g of x is equal to x squared minus 1. Find f plus g. Letter A. To ay f of x plus g of x lang. Is equal to x minus 5 plus x squared minus 1. Wala siyang similar term. Minus 5 plus negative 1. So minus 6. Ito yung sagot. Letter B. to ay f of x minus g of x is equal to x minus 5 minus x squared minus 1. So huwag kalimutan yung parenthesis kasi buong function siya. Ito ay negative x squared plus x, walang kaparehas, negative 5 minus minus 1, so plus 1 na to, negative 5 plus 1, so negative 4. Letter C, f times g, so f of x times g of x. Ito ay x minus 5 times x squared minus 1. So distribute natin muna tong x. x times ito, buo. So x cube to times dito, x times negative 1, so, minus 5 times x squared, so minus 5x squared, minus 5 times minus 1, so positive 5 na siya. Arrange lang natin, x cube minus 5x squared minus x plus 5. So, yun yung sagot. Letter D, f of x over g of x equal to x minus 5 over x squared minus 1. Hindi na siya pwedeng masimplify. So, ito na yung sagot natin. Letter E. G of x over f of x is equal to x squared minus 1 over x minus 5. Hindi na ito pwedeng masimplify din. Iba ang factor nito. Hindi siya magka-cancel. Let f of x is equal to x squared minus 1, g of x, 1 over x. Ito ay composite functions. Ang equivalent lang niya ay f of g of x. Yan. Copy natin yung buong f of x. Tapos palitan natin yung x ng g of x. Parang pinasok natin yung g of x. Yan. Magiging ganito ang expression natin. Tapos yung g of x. 1 over x squared minus 1. Ito, simplify natin. 1 over x squared na siya, minus 1. Simplify pa ulit. Ang LCD niya ay x squared. x squared divided by x squared. 1 times 1. So, 1 to. x squared divided by 1. So, x squared times negative 1 minus x squared. So, hindi na siya masimplify. Ito yung sagot natin. Letter B, siya equivalent siya sa G of F of X. Copy natin yung G of X. Tapos palitan natin siya ng 1 over F of X. Ito ay 1 over, ang F of X ay X squared minus 1. Tapos may value tayo ng X which is negative 1 dun sa gilid. 1 over, palitan natin, negative 1 squared minus 1. Ito ay 1 over. Itong expression na to ay 0. Sagot natin ay undefined. 1 over 0 ang sagot. Sa letter C, f of f of x. Copy natin yung f of x. Yan. Tapos palitan natin yung x ng f of x din. Giging ganyan siya. So, palitan natin x squared minus 1 squared pa, minus 1. Magiging ganyan siya. Ito, expand natin. Ito ay x to the fourth. Shortcut na lang. So, x squared times negative 1. So, negative x squared times 2. So, minus 2x squared negative 1. So, e squared mo siya. So, plus 1. Minus 1. Sagot ay x to the 4th minus 2x squared.
1 minus 1 is 0. Ito yung sagot natin. Yan siya ay g of g of x. Copy natin yung g of x which is 1 over x. Palitan natin siya ng 1 over g of x. Is equal to 1 over. Ito ay 1 over x. So ito, pwede siyang the same siya sa 1 times reciprocal netong 1 over x which is x. So sagot natin dito ay x. Tapos may value siya. Ang x is equal to 5. So, ang sagot natin ay 5. Dito sa problem na to, evaluate the following composition of functions. So, f of g of x yan. Copy natin yung buong f of x. Tapos, palitan natin siya ng g of x, yung x. Tapos, ang g of x ay 5x squared. Ito ay 10x squared plus 1. Yun yung sagot natin. So, letter B. Ito ay G of F of X. Copy natin yung G of X, which is 5X squared. Palitan natin yung X ng F of X. Magiging ganito siya. Substituting yung values ng F of X. 2X plus 1. Squared pa. Is equal to 5 times, ito expand natin 2x tapos squared so 4x squared na siya plus 2x times 1 2x times 2 pa so 4x 1 squared tapos expand natin magiging 20x squared plus 20x plus 5 yun yung sagot Tapos, ang next natin ay h of g of x. Copy natin yung h of x, which is x plus 3. Palitan natin ng g of x. g of x natin ay 5x squared plus 3. So, ito yung sagot. Last problem natin. So, n times p. May value tayo na n of x, which is... Ito ay multiply lang ng P of X. Ang N of X natin ay X. Multiply natin siya sa P of X na 320 minus 8X. Ito ay 320X minus 8X squared. So ito yung sagot. So letter B naman. So meron na tayong value nung N times P. Ito. I-minus natin siya sa C of X. So, 320X minus 8X squared minus pa nung C of X, which is 200X. Simplify natin. Unahin natin yung X squared. So, negative 8X squared na siya. 320X minus 200X. So, plus 120X. Ito yung sagot.